G'day, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be machining some T-slot nuts using the TM25V manual milling machine. You may have seen the previous video of the TM25V milling machine which was uh, sent down to me by Stuart Duncan from Titan Machinery. So up on the board guys we've got a engineering drawing commonly referred to as an orthographic drawing showing top view, front view, end view and an isometric view of what it is we're going to be making. You can see here all the sizes. My material size is the stock which is bright mild steel 24mm by 13mm. I've worked out how I'm going to be doing this today so I'll be what's, what size end mill I'll be using, what is my RPM determined by the diameter and steel of course what the material is that I'm machining, the tap I'll be using, the drill size to the tap, how I got the drill size, simple subtraction, the RPM and the pilot hole and the RPM for the pilot hole. So this should be a bit of fun, stay with me and uh, let's get into it. Okay we're back on the machine, I've got the material in front of me, it's a piece of bright mild steel, I've already told you its dimension, it was 24mm wide by 13mm high. This was the piece of bright mild steel that I was test cutting on the other day with the Titan and drilling and doing some milling. First uh, operation today is to end mill, using the end mill is to take down this face so I get the, approx the, appro the proper width of 19mm. The finished dimension is 19mm, currently it's 24mm, so 24 subtract 19, I have to remove 5mm of material off this face. I'll do that by using a slot end mill. I'm locating it in my vise here. Please note this is a drill vise, it is not a machine vise. Uh, you wouldn't usually use this vise for this operation. I don't have a small enough machine vise for this machine currently on me, so I'll be using the drill vise here. Put it in. Make sure we tighten him up. Using a soft face mallet, tap your material down, make sure it's located tight into the grooves. Paramount that the vise is done up tight. Loosen off the gibbs on the Z on the column. Up we go. On the Y axis back. Take over the X. Okay. Just going to slowly rotate the cutter until I hear it touch very gently. Okay, you can hear that now. I've just touched off with the tool. I'm rotating it very slowly. We'll do this in two passes. I'm going to take about two and a half mil per pass and Seeing it's a 9mm cutter, I'll probably be using about 40% oh, step over per each pass. Okay, up with the RPM. What about 530? Drop down the Z height. Lock up the quill on the Z. And down we go. Two and a half millimetres. Locking that up. Away we go. Doing conventional milling at the moment, not ply milling. Little tight machines having no problem at all there. Little bit of coolant, using some Horton's hoe cut here. It's the same coolant that I run in the CNC machines at school. Not feeding in too fast, it's a nice constant feed rate. 
milling in the X axis. I've remounted it on some parallel strips only because the vice I was using didn't have enough clamping pressure to hold it in. You saw that last pass, how it moved. So I've taken it out and put some parallel strips in and set it back up in the vise. Let's take another cut and see how we go. Right, yeah, I've just checked the size of my first pass. I'm at 21.5. I need to be 19, so I need to take off another 2.5 mil. I've machined to the thickness that I need, now I'm just going to cut it off in the Brobo to the right length. I've got the uh, material stock back into the vise here, clamped up very securely. I'm going to cut in 3.5mm this way and I'm cutting down 3mm here at the moment. Well, success. I've uh, shaped the profile that I need on the T-slot nut and uh, very happy with the outcome. Little uh, TM25 handled the job very easily. Got to remember that was a 9mm diameter two flute slot end mill. Alrighty, we'll change over the arbors now. I'll put in the drill chuck, take out the collet chuck and we'll just do some drilling.
There we have it, guys. Our little T-slot nuts machined on the TM25V. Quite happy with it, the way they came out. This bright, mild steel. I've just gave them a little bit of a clean-up on the grinder to take off their sharp edges. Even got a little bit of a leftover. I could always trim him down and use him as well. Alrighty, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to uh, post a comment or to uh, ask me any questions. See you next time.